Yeah, they're popping here at the Salvation Army. You know, so many crews still on deployment dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Laura. Some of those crews already been sent back to this area to deal with what Sally may do. The Salvation Army has been deploying crews to southwest Louisiana since Hurricane Laura laid ways to those communities. It has been a busy storm season already. As far as Lake Charles, I want to say we're at the 200,000 mil, 200 plus, actually. Major Robert Lyle says the Salvation Army is starting to rotate teams back from the Lake Charles area now as Sally bears down on our Gulf Coast area. The storm response has created a greater need for donations to help storm victims. We're strapped for volunteers now because of COVID uh, and with the... Uh, projected path. I don't know how much rain we'll get here in Jackson, so we'll try to get our special forces ready to do something local. But as far as going out, officer personnel are being called. The American Red Cross has supply warehouses stationed throughout our area. Uh, making sure that we have our sheltering supplies in place, as well as uh, additional supplies for after the storm for cleanup and feeding. The pandemic has put a strain on the number of volunteers that are available to respond. The agency says it does need help as it gets ready to help others hit by Sally. We need volunteers who are willing to go into the shelters because of the COVID challenge. Uh, many of our volunteers who are normally um, activated around this time, some of them have chosen just to stay back and work virtually. Both agencies doing planning work tonight as we all watch this storm approach our Gulf Coast. If you'd like to help out these agencies that will be helping out storm victims on our coast, we have links to their contact information at our website at WAPT.com. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>